Yo, I've been crazy coming from the wrong side of the law. All that I'm saying, baby, would you open the door? When the night is coming and the day is going and the night is coming and the day is going I want to introduce you now to a true character of our festival, but also a brother of mine that I've known for many years. Now I believe the beauty of our festival and the beauty of what I'm trying to do in the Lower Gulf region is the people. You've got to protect the sacred. The people are the sacred. Well, that's, the, that's what it is to me. I believe all people are sacred. And Lenny's one of those characters that just touched my heart when I first met him. He's been on a journey and he's taken in, uh, I guess, a lot of the sights and scenes around the Lower Gulf. And he's become part of the Dumbuji mob. So, Let's sit down with Lenny, or as we know him in the Gulf Country, Mad Lenny, Christopher Leonard. Mad Lenny, Ginnity. Thanks for having me, Alan. <laughs> um, we've been through a lot together. We have. Tell me, uh, I guess, you know, our first meeting when we first met, um, it was at the height of, you know, the death in custody of, of my cousin, uh, Murinyi Dumaji on Palm Island. Yep. Um, you know, we always talk about this story, but... Yeah. yeah. I want to hear from you. Like. Well, I was playing in a local band in Brisbane um, and we got asked to play at the benefit gig to raise money for Cameron. And I'd never met an Aboriginal person. Um, you know, I didn't know any Aboriginal people and the guy I played in a band with wanted, wanted to, to play the benefit gig. So I just tagged along and, and it was a bit of a spiritual moment for me. But our relationship, I mean, from then on, we've kind of... I mean, we started off as, you know, I guess, uh, strangers that became friends, that became acquaintances, I guess, friends. Now we're, we're pretty much brothers, yeah? We are um, family. And that was almost, what, 13, 13, 14 years ago. That's been a, a long, long time. It's been a great journey, hasn't it? You know, like, I was ashamed to say that I'd never met an Aboriginal person before and, and meeting you and your mother on that night like, really touched me deep in the soul. And I was ashamed that they didn't teach us this sort of stuff in school, you know, like, and, and you know, like, it, it was just a real spiritual moment for me meeting you and your mum and, and, you know, your mother calling me son when I first met her that first night just touched me. We took you at Bush, your first trip, I think it was Dumaji, took you to the Dumaji Rodeo. Um, tell me about that experience, how did, how did that? Well, <laughs> When I did tell you I was coming to the community, do you remember what I, was going, what I said to you? That when I first touch the Dumaji soil, I will, I will rub that dirt in my face. <laughs> you know, like, so traveling to the community was, it was just like, a, it was a dream for me, traveling up there. And the closer and closer I got, it, I just felt more spiritual and just felt like crying for days. And, you know, it, it was just real moving for me to to be in touch with the First Australians for the first time and, and just to be welcome. 2017, you guys headline, and you want to tell me who the lady that opened for you? Uh, Casey Chambers. Casey Chambers. So Casey Chambers opens for you uh, on the closing, closing night, the, the, the big finale night. How was that experience? You got to hang with Casey, you got to talk <laughs> to and and perform a song with her. Yeah, well, Oh, I'm a huge fan of Casey Chambers and that song that you showed me, Ignorance, out on the homeland, really touched me deeply and um, I remember you showing me that song, we were out in the bush and to getting to meet her was like, she was, she was she's a good girl, like she's, and um, I told her that I, that's my favourite song and, and um, yeah, like we, we connected really well, she couldn't believe that I loved that song. Hey, you want it? <laughs> I, 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 I gotta I gotta tell you something um, and this true story like uh, Casey Casey Chambers has has not uh, opened in in 20 years she's always been the headline the main act and when I when I had this chat with her about hey you're going to be opening tonight she goes really she goes who am who am I opening for I said you're opening for the Dumaji band she's went that's an honor I can sit and watch them perform so she was blown away that one Someone booked her and, and, and she had to open. 
<laughs> uh, two, that she was going to get to enjoy uh, uh, the local band be the headline act. And, you know, um, watching her up on stage with yourself, um, mm. I think I think she done. Uh, she, song, what, we what? did a we did a cover of a Gillian Welch song, and she really liked that song. And she heard us performing it out the back, so she wanted to get up and sing it with us. And it was pretty special. <laughs> well, her dad Bill jumped up as well. Yeah, Bill, Bill Chambers. Yeah. can't explain and you'd have to be there to be a part of it and someone asked me and I want to ask what what do you think of this someone asked me what's what's the one word that best describes your your festival and I looked at him and I said it's medicine it's medicine it's medicine for the people mm, yeah because the people are the medicine yeah um, how would you uh, tell me how would you describe connection yeah there's a strong connection you know like after I play, I walk through the crowd and I talk to the people that you have individually met and how you've touched these people in their own special way, how we have our friendship and our relationship. It's the connection that you bring. That old couple that come every year, that dressed up as cowboy and cowgirl, that beautiful couple, the people that you reach with the festival. And for me, it's definitely connection. I love to walk through the crowd and to see the same people there every year. And, and you're just going to build it and build it. Mm. And that's, that, that's the most special thing for me spirituality mm. you you obviously have something really powerful that's connected you to Dumaji and the mob out there mm. um, and us obviously you know there's a like there's something between us as brothers that just you just know it's natural it's normal it's, yeah. it's part of who we are yeah I went to Dumaji to find myself and to become a better person spiritually as well you know mm. like and um, I, I've seen certain things there that that I can't explain which will bring me much closer to the spirit world. But I know that living amongst a mob, that, that I'm ready to go to the spirit world. I feel more connected. Oh, bro. That's beautiful. We're going to get you to perform a couple of songs for us. Sure. Um, we'll, get out, we'll get out into the medicine circle, which is All right. our medicine Sounds circle is, is our dance circle. Um, also, we're turning it into our performance circle. So, brother, my brother here, Jindri is proper Aboriginal name from our mob, Jindri, which is the Willy Wagtail. You can call him Mad Lenny, you can call him Lenny, you can call him Chris, Christopher, whatever, but uh, we love him. And he's going to perform a couple of his original songs for us right here now on The Last Frontier. This is what makes our festival very unique and, and certainly uh, something that all you mobs should come along and sit around a fire camp with us. Because once we warm ourselves around a fire, that's when the medicine starts and that's where the healing begins. So, you ready, ready to perform, brother? I'm ready to perform. Ready Let's do rock. this. Let's do it. Yeah, well, no matter how far I travel in this big, big, big old world, where the pig and shooting all this fishing, or just when the day is done, I know that all roads lead back. Yeah, I didn't know that I could get so lost Working damn hard every day for the boss Till I till my head, till I smell the breeze Sure damn feeling fitter than I should be Four roads lead back Down along that dirt red track Four roads lead back Down a dooming Yeah Four roads lead back God damn, like I'm back on the road Trying hard just to satisfy I kind of know I'm always wanting more I Keep the door open, I want to explore And all roads lead back Down along that dirt red track All roads lead back Down the door my dear Come on All roads lead back For the curry, yeah, some goddamn curry bound. Yeah, it's rodeo time and the town is alive. I'm gonna ride that bull, cut him down a size and burrow his feet back down along that dirt red track. Burrow his feet back down the door of Come on, burrow his feet back.
travel in this big, big, big old world where the pig and shoot and just fishing or just when the day is done. I know that all roads lead back down along that dirt red track. All roads lead back down the drum and Come on, man. The next song I'm about to perform is uh, Only in Doomagy, it's called. And um, and I had the mob sort of like help me with this song, you know, like they'd, they'd always say something funny in, in the time they were there. And I wrote it down and this is just a mixture of, of, of all the mob sayings in Doomagy and, and what's, what life is like living in Doomagy. And this is how I'm reflecting in, in a song. It's called Only in Doomagy. Let me tell you about a little place called Doom City. Approximately 600 miles from the eyes up. On the banks of the Nicholson River sits a little place called Dormagy. Home to three tribal race, Wani, Gungalita and Garola. Almost 1,600 people live there. Now, it's time, it's time to shine. Only a woman you. you have a cup of tea with your mates. Only a woman you. You won't get up before it's late. Sure takes a bulletproof person. Now to live up here in the bush. Where you chew on rib bone like a kid. Never go short of a feed. I hear the kids playing cricket down the wall and dry. I hear the roadhouse road train after dropping off its load. Only in Dumanji, where every meaning has two sides. Only in Dumanji, where every day it's a rodeo ride. Where I feel the warmth on the streets as I drive the school bus around I see the smiles on the kids as, as they jump on board and then I drop them off at school and I send them on their way all hoping that everyone is gonna have a real good day and we're nearly out of water and a cyclone rip's been and gone and we're no longer Nature at its best, come on, only in Dumaji. For every meaning has two sides, only in Dumaji. For every day it's a rodeo ride, then one of my favourite people, he smiles and walks on by. He's an out and out champion, the man of the bush, his three kids and his dog, and it's still love. Sandalwood tree, there's no place I'd rather be. What we're seeing here this morning is uh, the Mabuntha, the gang leader people call it, call it people next door at Bentic Island call it the Yipipi. So Mabunt is the uh, morning glory cloud formation found only in two places on the planet, the Gulf of Mexico and the Gulf of Carpentaria. Ours are far more majestic and grand because of the shape of the Gulf here compared to Mexico, I think. It's one of the last major unexplained weather phenomena on the planet. 
how science breaks down, can understand what causes uh, cyclones and lightning. They can't do that with this, they have absolutely no idea what causes it. It's literally a thousand kilometre long, perfect tubular shaped cigar cloud formation that continues to roll, travels uh, hundreds of kilometres an hour, and it, uh, people come from all over the world to glide on it, pushes the dark preceding cloud ahead of it. Um, it's usually rising, it's a bit late this morning, that's why it's breaking up, but usually rises just as the sun's rising, it's just above the sun, and it pushes a dark proceeding cloud ahead of it, it drops the temperature by eight or 10 degrees, and also contained within that cloud at about the same distance as a mini earthquake traveling ahead of the cloud that just barely registers on the Richter scale, but you wouldn't hardly notice a glass get upset. In our culture, the Mabunthi is like a e-rays and a reset coming across the land, um, and also collecting all of the souls and spirits of our recent departed and taking them up to the Milky Way. So uh, yeah, that's the Mabunta. This is why our festival was always destined to always be out here. When I said to him last year, I took him over there and I said, Margareri, this is where we're going to do that festival. And, and he looked at me and said, hey. I said, yep, this is what I've dream." I thought he was mad, but I could see what he meant now. Yeah, and, and you know, when, when you dream something, the only way you can actually um, um, make that manifest into something in reality is to show what you what you what you um, dreamt and, 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 and turn your vision into reality. That's right. And that's with his support and Ali Ray and everybody else here. You know, it, we made that happen. And, and and that there tells me we're that our right track. Yep. We're on the right track. Us. Our ancestors are on, on, you know, with us. Our, our ancestors are here. And, and that tells me and my team that we're going to come back next year and we're going to move our festival to the September holidays to coincide with this natural Round phenomenon. four. Exactly. Our Frontiers Days Festival. And, and, and I'll say this, when you're blessed by old people and when you walk in the right way and when you continue walking, no matter how much you come to obstacles, you will eventually get the outcome you deserve. You, not, you deserve, but you set out to achieve because, you know, we worked really hard. And it's not just us, there's a lot of people behind us. And um, I think... They're the I, ones doing all the work. Exactly. Making us look good. We're just doing all the talking. Yeah. To be blessed by the ancestors and to actually feel the mabunt that go through your body, it, uh, it's a feeling like no other. And when you know you've got that connection to Mother Earth and to our you know, ancestry and to our spirit world, that's what's unique and different about here and about us, and about not just our festival, about people here. Not above you, not below you, but right beside you. Boom. That's what our festival's about.